thank you so much for being here. I am so excited to have you all in this room. Um, I am Sue Zoki, Director of Design Strategy and Senior Analyst of the Circular Economy here at GreenBiz Group. And for the past year, uh, what feels like more than a year, I have been building towards this moment. <laughs> the moment when I can throw back the curtain and invite you to experience our breakout program. In just one hour's time, we are going to kick off three days, totaling nearly 50 sessions, 2,460 minutes of unique content imbued with the expertise of nearly 200 speakers. I am so excited. <laughs> um, this program, um, I've designed this program to help inspire you, to challenge you, to give you the tools that you need to transform the world around us. And I've been thinking a lot about that word, transform. Transformative, transformational. They're words that get thrown around a lot in the world of circularity, and I am as guilty as any for using them quite liberally in my coverage, often when describing the products, packaging, and pilots that you all have launched out into the world. But I'd argue that in the world of circularity, that word, the excess use, it's warranted. And that's because incremental change cannot get us to where we need to go. To achieve the just, resilient, circular world that we collectively envision, we must transform. Transform the way that we live in this world, the way that we create and operate, the way that we consume. So what does it take to transform the linear into circular? Does it take a shared practice, a shared purpose? Can it be achieved when 1,000 people descend on Atlanta, Georgia and experience 2,460 minutes of insights earned, lessons learned, and challenges still underway? It's my supreme hope and belief that the answer there is yes. And that is why transformation has been the pivotal ingredient around which the breakout program has been designed. Over the next three days, we will explore the tracking and traceability technologies that can transform our supply chains. The new business models that can transform the way that we consume and the behavior changes that can transform our consumers and the way they operate in the world. We'll discuss what it takes to transform our relationship with nature, one away from extraction towards one of learning and symbiosis, our relationship with each other, towards a more regenerative, inclusive world that strengthens the communities and connections between us. We will discuss what it takes to transform our design processes from the smallest chemical building block to the large cities around us and every piece of product, every piece of packaging and product in between. Earlier today, John asked us what our why is. Why are we here? Why do we do this work? And for me, my why is the unbridled hope that I can enable transformative change by empowering all of you. It's a little bit more than five words, but hopefully John won't give me a hard time about that. <laughs> so as you go through this week, I implore you, to push beyond incremental change, to elevate your aspiration and ambition, to ask yourself in each moment, how can I transform the people, business, and system around me? How can I enable a circular transformation? I cannot wait to hear how you answer that question throughout this week. Now, before we dive into the breakouts, we have a networking break up next. So as you mix and mingle, I invite you to explore our solutions-oriented expo space uh, out just outside in the hall. And later this evening, don't forget to join us at our opening reception sponsored by Nike. It's being held in the Windsor Garden from five to seven. I cannot wait to see you there and throughout this week of transformation. Thank you so much for being here and enjoy the rest of Circularity 22.